We can find the answer to this question using majority rule and the stranger strategies and then recognize how much easier it is to solve the algebra once you know what the answer actually is. We can quickly notice that four of the answers have a square root sign in them, so A probably isn't the right answer. We can also notice that three of the answers are fractions, so A and C don't look like right answers. And two of the fractions with the square root in them look very similar. Both D and E have a 1 on top of the fraction. We can also notice that two of the fractions have the square root of Y on the bottom. B and E. Now we have the right answer that was included in all of our groups. Answer E. It has a 1 on top of a fraction with the square root of Y on the bottom. Now we can check our answer by comparing it to the problem. If X is greater than 0 and Y is greater than 0, which of the following is equivalent to X over Y times the square root of Y over X squared? We can begin by putting everything under a square root sign. So we have x squared times y over y squared times x squared, all under our square root sign. Now we can compare this complex square root fraction with our simple answer e. Do you see how we get there? We need to simplify everything so that we end up with a fraction with a 1 on the top and a square root of y on the bottom. We simply cancel the x squared from the top and bottom of the fraction, cancel a y from the top and bottom of a fraction, and we're left with a 1 on the top of the fraction and a square root of y on the bottom. Testing for the public. Nonprofit since 1985. No one makes things easier.